Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here. Welcome to another part of my Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank. Today we're going to Metropolis Kerwin, uh, Planet Kerwin, Metropolis, uh, also known as Alero City. Uh, later on it was revealed that was actually the name of it, technically. The metropolis is merely, uh, you know, like, a, it's a metropolis, you know, like, it, that's, it's actually, that has, a metropolis actually is a word, like, it's a word for, like, a big central city or something like that. Um, music is probably one of the more memorable tracks in the game. Um, for people that, I don't know, I mean, this is how snobby. But for people that don't really sort of care about some of the other really creative ones, like for example, the, um, you know, like this in Blackwater City, like there's some great tracks that aren't really known as well, like the Gadgetron Headquarters has some really cool sort of chord progression and like, or like not chord progression, like chord, like synth, whatever, I'm going to call Welcome it Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Does anyone else think that Ratchet is really unlikable? Am I right, reviewers? Yeah, everyone like fucking hated Ratchet, like when this game came out, like, and he's a douche, he, he has no character, he's, he's stupid, he's mean to Clank, it's like, that's sort of the point, you know what I mean? Like, he, he is like that, and it makes sense later on, like, why they end up having such a great friendship, you know? I don't know, I don't know why people sort of criticise that. I can see, ah, uh, there's a bit, elements where it's like a bit like, ah, uh, come on, mate. But, I don't know, I don't, I don't mind that. Um, now this planet was also going to be called, uh, Caldera, Cal Caldera, um, which actually means, what does it mean? I think it means, I'm just gonna read, I've got it here. A, a caldera is a large volcanic crater. So, I don't know why, um, yeah, that was originally gonna be where the metropolis was gonna be, a large volcanic crater. It seems quite interesting. Um, yeah, this, this level is, I mean, in general, it's just a very iconic level. Look at it, it's massive. Think about the scale of this. I mean, wait, wrong one. Look at it. It's enormous. And to think, we barely get to visit and much of it. Um, I think this is, I think it's the most frequent planet in the whole series. Um, because you visit it in Ratchet Clank 3, it's in Tools of Destruction, it's in cutscenes. Um, from like, I think it's in a flashback sequence, um, you know what I mean, like, it, it's, it's everywhere, you know what I mean, it's, it's, uh, and, and very much deserved, deserved, deservedly so, I'm, I'm struggling to say that, um, because it is sort of iconic and just mem memorable level, you know, um, now, yeah, okay, let's see, this is, this is like, you know, like a course thing, if you're about to see a, a classic character here, this grade A bitch, let me tell you. You lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak! Weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark! Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. Fucking bitch. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit making us pay. That damn storyline progression that we have to pay.
pay to get someone. It's like money bags all over again. You know? Um, actually, should I have done this? Yeah, I should have done this one first. That's all good. Alright, let's pay. Sweet! I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can spin without silly toys like that! The two of you make me sick! That pig snort. That bloody pig snort. Uh, okay. Ready? Let's... Oh, one sec. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I was actually, uh, I had to, oh shit, wrong word. Um, I had to, yeah, my brother, uh, his bus is apparently broken down. So, what button do I have to use to swing in? Um, Jesus Christ, wait, okay. Oh, there you go. Let's get the swing shot out, shall we? There you go. There we go. Jesus Christ, what are doing? Um, but yeah. Okay, there you go. But yeah, so, sorry about that. Anyway. New on, and I've got now I've got the swing shot. So the swing shot's pretty useful. We end up using the swing shot a fair bit during the game, which, hey, I'm uh, not complaining. It's it's a cool move. Like it, you know, again, this is where the sort of limitations of Spyro the Dragon sort of come in. Um, you know, like Spyro is fantastic, but you know, there has that famous quote by um, you know Ted Price where you know you, you know Spyro didn't have hands, you couldn't hold a gun. Um, now, I don't really agree with that comment in the sense that, like, I don't really care. Not everything should be about guns, and in fact, I'd argue that's one of the declines of the fucking industry right now. If you want me to sound like a know-it-all, I will. But to me, and yes, it is an opinionated point of view, but I think that the whole FPS sort of thing has partially, to, in my opinion at the very least, you can argue this, ruined the climate of games. because. There was a year, there was a period of time where literally nearly everything released was a first person shooter. COD was the only thing you'd play to be cool. Like, it's like video games have became cool, but only certain critical, you know, fucking shit, you know what I mean? Like, like, you know, you know, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, it's so cool to be a gamer now, you know? Like, it's really cool if you're a gamer. We love gamers, like the, you know, the jock-ass fuckwits, you know what I mean? That, you know, like, you know, like, but then they just go and play COD, which, to be honest, is just like, you know, like playing, like, an, oh, like a sports game. Like, if you played shit like Pokemon, you were, you were criticised and stuff like that. It just, you know, pissed me off, because, I remember back in the day, I remember, like, in year six, people used to be like, oh, why do you play, like, Pokemon? What the hell? And, and like, it wouldn't be, like, real bullying, but more just, like, sort of, like, little Pokemon, like, it's like, fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, you can play what I, you can play what you fucking want. That's the way I look at it. Um, you know, yeah, I, I'm glad that it wasn't like like bullying, bullying, but it was still, like it was like that subtle kind of like oh, you play that. Like, yet then when like Call of Duty came out, everyone would be like obsessed with it up till two in the morning. That's apparently okay. Anyway, my point being is, my point is, is that um, you know, like just because Spyro couldn't hold a gun doesn't mean it's bad. And but it also means I'm not saying that everything that is a gun game. Is, is bad. Like, Ratchet and Clank is the example where, that's why Ratchet and Clank is so good, in my opinion, because it takes platforming and action adventure and shooting and puts it into one neat packet. Not one neat, hybrid, incredible package. It's just, yeah, absolutely fantastic. And, yeah, I could not, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't speak higher about Ratchet and Clank. You guys know how I feel about it. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. Fuck off, Dickie. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Fuck it. Like, you know, the, yeah, that whole, like, nerd thing. I mean, that's been around forever, but... I don't know. Shut up, Ratchet. Like, he's a nerd, you know, but he's, he's a good guy. Um, you know, he probably plays Pokemon, doesn't he? Look at him. Just look at his face. He plays, he plays Pokemon, doesn't he? 
funnily enough, you know, one of my closest friends, Ando, you know, at the time of this recording has 315 plus thousand subscribers. You know what I mean? So Pokemon is... Shh, Pokemon is cool. So that was my phone iPod going off. All right, there you go. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. This guy is awesome. Thank you, Al. I mean, he's a bit nervous, though. Look at him. What are you doing there, mate? Okay. But yeah, now, n here is where the sign was. It said, it said, like, like, reward or something like that. You know, like, ratchets, um, you know, like, on the loose. Like, these guys are on the loose. Now, in the, I think it was the demo or beta version of this game, uh, someone will be able to comment to clarify this. Uh, basically, what happened was, um, jump across like that basically what happened was they they like th those signs were actually a hidden like not hidden like blatantly in the level in the final version they opted to take him out I don't know why um, now it says to glide but you know what I prefer to do that that's a nice quicker move they have sort of a, you have some sort of that move in Ratchet in uh, Jack and Daxter as well if you remember so I think it was this one to do it, yeah, the one that centers the camera. In later games, I think they actually switch it, because they, they, R1 becomes like shoot, and this one, shoot, is circle, uh, in the, yeah, in the future, <laughs> not the, f and the future series for that matter, they, yeah, they use the other version. Um, there's also some, there's also a thing in this game called skill points, which we haven't actually seen at all, uh, yeah, we haven't done anything like that, probably won't for a little bit. I might sort of save it a bit till later, have like a, like a skill point dedicated part. But basically they're like doing random or weird things like in the game. That's like the only way I can really describe it. But it's very, very cool. And, um, oh shit. Got a bomb. Quick. There you go. Uh, yeah, for now, we'll be getting, you know, a lot of, um, what are they called? Um, we'll be getting quite a few, uh, oh, oh, Gold bolts, that's it, yeah. So you know what I was thinking there. Now I saw the version of this in uh, in the new Ratchet Clank, the Ratchet Clank PS4 remake thing, and it looks really cool. Like very, very cool. I like it a lot. You actually like I remember you hop on here. And it's all pretty like true to the original sort of vision, but improved, you know what I mean? More of an interactive experience. For lack of a better word. Oh they're they're like TNT crates, by the way. Think, yeah, Spyro didn't, Spyro didn't really have that, didn't they? If you think about it. Right. Got all these little sections here. I wonder where a gold bolt is, eh? Am I right, guys? Ready, here we go. Already on nearly 5,000 gems. Mixed the gems. Bolts. Okay, here we go. Yeah, not... That was really shit. You're like, give me the freaking move, you know? Alright, here we go. So, as well as that, I'll show you this. We've got another gold bolt in the level. The I think there's two in the level, I think. So you can see it there. And then we get down here. Don't go down there. We're gonna climb up here. Oh, safe one. Little platforming jump like that. And there we go. You didn't even have to pick it up. You got really close to it and then it just sort of automatically counted, you know? Thank you, Gold Bolt. Let's throw it down there. Didn't even hit anyone. Uh, could just, you know, not, not bother with these guys, but there's just something so addicting about collecting, you know, all this stuff, as I said. I'm doing this as well, like riding past like that, and like, they all sort of get into, yeah, see? Alright. You know, cool little <laughs> art on there. What are they, like stickers? I saw a foot on there. What the hell is that? An arrow. Alright. Here we go. Here goes the Metropolis train. Music changes as well. Awesome music. Sometimes if I just don't talk, it's because I'm actually listening. And for that matter, you guys should too. Yeah, no, okay. This is, yeah, this is like so basic in this game, and that's not a bad thing, of course, at the time. Um, but yeah, you should see what they do on the, the new version. It's really cool stuff. Definitely got me excited, um, I will say. 
Now, what the hell? I haven't even, again, I've got another level without buying a thing. Like, I got a, um, like, using the Gadgetron vendor. What the hell's wrong with me? And then, of course, you basically just automatically arrive at this spot no matter, like, you could be there for, like, ages and then eventually you just end up here. So follow through. Goes up there. Oh, shit. Don't die now. That wouldn't be good. You see where we are here. So look. It's quite cool where we end up, actually. Let's see. Can you see? Yeah, the start again. And over here, especially, you, yeah, you'll be able to see. Very convenient. Alright. Whoa. Sucker. There we go. Greetings, Executive German Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Former commander. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. Yes, persuade. By the way, uh, just to talk about influences, Obviously, Spyro 2 has a, has a level of the same name. It actually reminds me, it sort of is futuristic in a way that Spyro was in, you know, futuristic with Metropolis. Um, but I just want to re... I've got to have a look as well, real quick, see where that... Because I know that there's... Yeah, okay. So if i got to get over there, then... Um, I want to get another gold bolt. I think, where is it? Because I think it's... Down, see, I think, see that area there, I think that's where it might be connected to. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Excellent. Right, if you look over here, this is kind of like a secret area-ish bit, I guess. Um, here we go. I think, it, I think it's here. Is it here? Wait. Remember, if not, no, no, no. There's another way to get, no, okay, it's just not, this is just a random little bit that you unlock, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, where is it? Um, let's see. I'm missing the point, am I? Aren't I? Um, oh shit. Well, good thing we have no no lives. Uh, extra, you know, there's no lives in this game. I'll go find it in a minute because I think, yeah, I think I know where I've got to go. But um, I just want to point out, as per the Ratchet Wiki, uh, that. It's just a little bit of information here about trivia that it says they say what is it um, someone okay it says the architecture of Metropolis was influenced by Art Deco or Deco with steampunk novelist Jules Verne and the 1927 Fritz Lang film Metropolis having large impacts on the aesthetic of the city. The iconic design of Metropolis led to its appearance in six different games and as a result becoming the most prominent and famous of settings in the franchise. Yeah, I sort of said the same thing before, but yeah, the influence of it is very, yeah, very key. All right, we're gonna get another gold bolt now. This time it is down here. Ready? Let's try and get a good view. Here we go. Yep. Look at this. This is an awesome little area. Very busy. A lot of, uh, lot of cool vehicles here. Look at these guys. Look at that. There's actually a fair bit of detail into these. I mean, it's ba basic, but at the same time, not. I guess. Alright. So there's our next one. Now, the question is, how do you get back up here? Are you just stuffed? Is that it? Are you just, you're just down here for good? Is this you, is your new home? Oh, here we go. Oh, that made sense. Oh, that's a new move. You go like that, and then yeah, so you crouch, and then you go like that, and you pick up bolts as well. See, good stuff. Thank you. And I've got just a few more things to get. Unfortunately, I two abilities um, or two skill points I actually can't get, but I can get one. I know one I can get, and I will get it in this part actually. 
Alright, so here we are, and what we have to do is make a big jump down here. It's called Striker Pose, and sometimes that should give you a clue as to what the skill point is. They don't really blatantly tell you. Uh, so yeah, go under there. There you go. That's all you have to do. Ugh, ugh, ugh. That looks a bit wrong. Um, now we've got one more thing to get, and that is a gold bolt. I can't believe I didn't see this earlier, but here's where the next, or the final gold bolt is. We've got all the gold bolts now. It's just the skill points when you get two remaining ones. We need more powerful weapons, basically. Anyway, here we are. Fantastic section. And believe it or not, I go yet another part without even showing the gadget on the uh, Next part, though, I'm actually, I will need more weapons. And I'm excited. I'm excited to put these bolts to good use other than buying info bombs and shit, you know? It's important. Or helipack upgrades. There we go. And here's our gold bolt. We're doing well. I think, is that our fourth? No, fifth. Fifth gold bolt. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Alright, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, why did I stop there? I don't know why I paused. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know I do. And in the next part, we're going to be going over to Nostalgia Overload for level. AKA Planet Iridia Outpost X11, I think it is. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed Metropolis. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful, uh, you know, HD view of the level. And I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.